everyone welcome back to my channel today I thought it'd be a good idea for me to do a beauty haul because I've bought quite a lot of beauty stuff in like the past couple months and weeks I'm still I still got some stuff that's supposed to be coming but they took too long and I really wanted to film so yes let's get to it here but first of all I am going to show you my cotton pads that I use I bought two I think they were doing an offer in boots and they're just large cotton pads um I just use it to take off my makeup and cleanse with my micellar water after I've like exfoliated and things like that um I also got the Nivea micellar water this one is for the dry skin things because my skin's been so dry recently this is so good because it's so moisturizing and it's it's just got like a different formula from the Garnier one because I was using the Garnier one for a little bit but it's got a different formula that makes your skin feel really hydrated once you've done it uh, the L'Oreal um, cleansing wipes yeah uh, these are so good like when I take off my makeup like it doesn't make my skin dry and I just couldn't believe it because it's like I do not really think of getting L'Oreal for makeup wipes but they're really really good I got this this is the Hydroluron moisture jelly but it's such a thick jelly I did use the hyalamide it's hydroluronic acid inside but it's a serum and that is amazing but I left it at home so um, I had to buy this one when I was here and it was on offer for $16.99 so I thought that was really good because it's normally $24.99 but this is amazing like it's so like thick and then like it keeps your skin really hydrated like I'm all about the hydration right now because my skin's really dry and the weather's like pissing about so I thought that let me get this instead as it's sort of cheaper and um, it was cheaper and they ran out of hyalamide but I was watching Sabrina's channel and she had this and this is a makeup brush cleanser um, I personally don't really have a lot of time to be washing and drying my makeup brushes so I thought as a quick fix I might as well just get this this is absolutely amazing like I can't believe they actually work but the only thing I would say is that when you're wiping this off um, like wiping the product off onto like a pad or something like that use a muslin cloth or one of those cloths so it kind of takes off the product on the brush a bit more easier than um, a cotton pad or something like that that other people use but yeah I'd really recommend this I got some more prep and prime um, fix plus this oh my gosh this perfume I smelled when I was in the airport going to Tenerife and I was thinking about it. so it has a floral scent but it has a sweetness to it I'm the type of girl that loves sweet smelling floral kind of fresh perfume smells I'm not like the deep I don't really like things that are like deep and musky like that like my everyday perfume is the Beyonce heat and that is literally sugar like it it oh I love it but it I love sweet smells like sweet fresh smells so every time like you walk past it's like a hint of sweetness if you know what I mean but this is the Daisy Dream Forever and it is amazing um I mean I got staff discount on top of price match from John Lewis so um it was like 30 something pounds but they're not it's not a price match anymore but I would recommend like if you like a floral sweet scent then definitely get this I am looking to get the product candy because I always spray it on myself when I go to store but I just don't have the guals you know I just don't have the moolah exaggerate lashes by Isla and I got the Ardell um I think it's Demi Wispies or something like that. I am wearing a pair on, that's why it's missing. But these are so good. They're so fluttery. And I've got like fluttery lashes, as you can see. I've bought these two and I have got some <laughs> Demure lashes coming. I don't know why it's taking so long. That's the only thing that, because I ordered it on Monday. But um, yeah, I ordered those and they should be coming. I mean, I'll probably put a blog post on, a blog post up, um, probably next week when they do come about the couple of things that I have bought but these are amazing I got this I think in January though um but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Peach Nectar Illuminator and I used it in my 
a Valentine's Day tutorial, I think. Um, so if you haven't watched that, I'll link it down below so you can see how I've popped it on my cheekbones. Um, this is what it looks like, and it's so amazing. Can you see that? Yeah. I've got it on my nose and my cheekbones today. Recently what I have got in the post is the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I've used it a couple times. Um, I don't know what I think about this you know because I like it but I do like the Ben Nye one better. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this is extremely um, powdery and yellow for my skin um, whereas the Ben Nye one is quite thin and like once I've put it on and dust it off you can actually see it dusting off but I feel like with this I have to like dust it and dust it and dust it and dust it until it actually comes off and not give me the white cast um, but yeah it is a good product and I pay £20 for it so I kind of have to use it I've got this from Amazon because I couldn't find it anywhere else and it just looks like that it's got the it's got um, some incisions in there so that you can get the powder out but you gonna see that? Um, but yeah, there you go. I mean, I'm not, I'm not disappointed, but I thought the hype would have been, would have made the product worthwhile, like worth getting. But yeah, the eyeshadows. I have got some. Is it called? What are they called? Mm. Eyeshadow pans. Um, first of all, quite a while ago, I got the MAC ones, and I've used it in, um, my last tutorial, um, the Valentine's Day one, so if you haven't watched it, go watch it, okay? Um, but, um, I've got the, what's it called? I got them, one, this one is in cork, and this is like a chocolatey brown colour it's really lovely I love the way it goes on my eyelashes I mean <laughs> I love the way it goes on my eyelids because it's just like oh it's the wrong one it's just like a really um true to skin colour which I love and I got raw because it's like a burnt orangey kind of brown colour that is really nice to go in the crease it's amazing I, I've I've got so many um uh, makeup looks that I've got on the oh, oh, I've got so many makeup looks that I've got up my sleeve that I want to show you guys because um, it's just that I don't have the time like it's really sad <laughs> because I didn't know that my this term of uni was going to be this stressful but um, it's alright anyway um, everyone's going through the same thing so it's okay but these colours are amazing and then I also got this in this package um, the Makeup Geek colours and I got Cherry Cola and Cocoa Bear that's Cocoa Bear it's kind of like a red-ish um, burgundy um, tone from what's it called cork and then this one is like a purpley colour um, I'm going to see how they look on my lids um, but I haven't actually opened them I got these from Beauty Bay and I got these from John Lewis I think yeah the thing that I got in the package my beauty bay package was the morphe brush in the m the m330 morphe brush and it's like a tape oh, why is there so much dust coming out of it but it is a tapered um blending brush it just looks like that I need to stop screwing when I'm talking but it's just lovely to go right there and like really define that crease and then I've got a I think this is called the jumbo one but it's also a wow look at that how much dust do you want this is a jumbo one and it just looks like that but that is just to blend it all together well I would use it to blend it all I also got the MAC 217 brush but it's really dirty so I'm not really going to show you guys but I got it with my MAC purchases. They're really soft, I can't believe it, like this is the same quality as the MAC ones and these are like a fraction of the price, I think they're like £4 something. 
so that's good. I have bought the Ardell Lash Glue. It's like just an amazing eyelash glue instead of using that that rips off all your lashes, all your eyelashes. It doesn't rip off all your eyelashes. It's clear and it, well it dries clear and it's just an amazing adhesive to put on your eyelashes. So definitely get that and I got that from False Lash UK. I got the lashes from False Lash UK as well. These NYX liquid lipsticks in um this one's in vintage and then this one is in sandstorm the oh, sandstorm is an amazing nude for me i line my lips with the kiko 304 liner it's like a pinkish liner and then i go in with um sandstorm and then vintage is such an amazing um i think it's diva it's like a diva kind of um dupe but they do not make my lips look crackly or whatever. It's actually just a perfect, nice um, application and it just makes you look nice. I've done a blog post, I think, on these two. So check out my blog and I will link it down below on reviews of all my makeup and um, fashion and all that jazz. But those two are such amazing colours. I've got... What did I get? So I got three MAC lipsticks i did accumulate them over three months so let's say just once one a month okay guys i'm not crazy um but i got the cream sheen among the lipstick in <laughs> among the firefly among the fireflies it is a cream sheen finish i think i put a blog post on that have i not or I've said it in a video or something like that because I have been raving about this for ages. But this is an amazing nude. It's just, oh, it's just so nice. It's chocolatey and it's, oh, it's everything. Um, but yeah, I got that from the, um, I think it's Fairy Whispers collection by MAC. And then I got um, Flat Out Fabulous, which is a retro matte. And it's just a nice kind of electric fuchsia that is beautiful it has like a red undertone to it um but it's amazing i will put swatches um maybe here or here so you guys can see what it looks like on my skin and then i've got verve which is such an amazing nude like um if you line your lips with um chestnut that is such a perfect like nude lip combo um, and that is a, it's a satin finish, but I think it looks better on me than Well does, so I got Verve instead. I have a bunch of eyeshadows. I did put a, I think I filmed a video using these Colourpop eyeshadows, but I got these ones, the Super Shock shadows in Central Perk and Boy Band, and this colour is amazing um i got these from i think ebay or amazon and they were a reasonable price i think i got them for like 12 pounds or something like that so that's really good considering the other websites that have been charging way more but this color central perk is like a it's like a like deep kind of brown purple color which is amazing and then um Boy band. Oh, it's broken. Oh. How do you buy? It's kind of is, it's just like a golden brown colour. Last up, I've got my my Morphe um, Free 35N palette. And it just looks like, it just looks like that. And it's got some perfect colours like around here. I think it's all matte. So I probably will be using this section a lot more than the other bits because I don't really wear a colour. But um, yeah, I just thought that these colours would be perfect to do nice, nice like neutral looks with that I can work on because I'm still learning, you know. Yeah, I got that. I am looking to get the Zoe Eva. Is it neutral bronze palette because everyone's been raving about that so maybe in the next couple of weeks you'll see another beauty haul with all those bits that are supposed to be coming in the post yeah that is all from me i hope you enjoyed this enjoyed mm -hmm. i hope you enjoyed this haul um please subscribe to my channel if you want more videos from me and like this video if you like this video please follow me on all my social media 
please follow me on all my social media i'll link my twitter my instagram and my blog down below um but thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys